My name is Keegan Manning. It is the 10th anniversary of September 11th, 2001. I really hope that everybody gets to see the project, enjoys it, appreciates the meaning behind it, and we never forget what happened that day. And so we had to do a lot of cutting and shaping. No machines here, all hand -based. It's different than forming just regular metal because you have each individual little star. It is an impressionist sculpture, and I think it absolutely does what I was trying to do. Yeah, and I satisfied actually after I saw people's reaction and how wonderful and happy their eyes, and how I saw my husband's eyes, and it just gave me a very nice, good feeling about it. I think this is a magnificent job. That is, it took a lot of talent to come up with this whole idea. And I'm very impressed with the symbolism. Uh, coming back memories, I was just getting off duty on September 11, 2001. Literally at the time, it was awe-inspiring and, and very discouraging. This memorial is certainly a tribute to those people and what it means. Quality first inspections. My name is Philip Gans. I was born in Amsterdam, Holland. I live with mom and dad, a brother two years older, a sister five years older, and occasionally grandma used to spend time with us. However, things changed. May 1940, the Germans invaded Holland. Not long after they invaded in 1939 Poland, 40 signs went up, prohibited for Jews. Whenever you walked out the house, the Star of David had to be sewn on your outer clothing. We were not allowed to go any beaches, no libraries, no cinemas. Next, we had ID cards, notice the J, during the summer of 42, there was a razzia. That meant the Nazis went from house to house and took the people out of their house. However, since we were in business, we had signs on the windows. They thought it was a business, and they passed us by. That same summer, Dad received notice to report to Germany. He had no intentions of going. That means we had to go into hiding. A lady dressed as a nun came to the house.
Max height for a step is seven and a half inches. As you can see, we have nine inches to this step, which is an inch and a half larger than what it should be. The cause of this problem is they poured the cement with not enough expansion joint between the two pieces. And over time, water has gotten in between the two and underneath and has caused them to swell and lift up. The result of the cement moving, these bricks are no longer adhered to the side of the garage. Now these are We're going to take the refrigerator and move it over here to the south wall area. There's two cabinets here. One will be cut back. The bottom one will go over to here and we'll build a breakfast bar out here. We're going to move this out just a few feet. 